Okay, so I have this uh, snare drum that I took apart because I'm cleaning it out and changing the heads. Um, I did the top head the other day, so what I'm going to be doing now is putting the bottom head back on with the rim, with all the tension rods, and then I'm going to put the snare strainer on, or the snare wires on, and uh, adjust it with the snare strainer. So first thing I'm going to do is get my head on there. I'm not using any particular fancy head, it's just a thin head. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my rim, and I already cleaned my rim off with the dust and everything that was on it. And I'm going to make sure I'm putting it on there so that these slits are positioned correctly with the snare strainer. I've definitely tuned some snare drums before to realize that the slits were in the wrong spot. So we're going to make sure that we're doing that today. Okay, so now that I have that on there, I'm going to start taking my tension rods and putting them in place. And the first thing I'm going to do is essentially finger tighten them. I'm not actually in the tuning phase yet. I'm just in the assembly process of just putting this drum back together. So I'm going to tighten these up real quick just with my fingers. And I lubricated these tension rods with WD-40. That doesn't mean that I sprayed the WD-40 on them. What I did is I put some WD-40 on a towel, like this towel, and then I wrapped the towel around the tension rod and turned back and forth to get the, the dust and the dirt and any yuckiness off of the tension rod. But I also did that so we would lubricate the tension rod just a little bit so that it screwed in pretty easily. Okay, so now I have that going. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to push on the edge of the drum head. The drum head usually bubbles up a little bit from the edge of the shell, so I'm going to push on it and tighten this to the point where I can't push on it anymore. Push on it, tighten it up, and to me that's a good way to get the drum head evenly seated on the drum before you begin tuning it. Notice I'm going from one tension rod to the tension rod opposite of it because I'm trying to get this drum head on here nice and even. I'm not tightening it a whole lot yet. I'm really just trying to uh, get it on here even. And as I'm doing this, I'm noticing that this drum head I'm using isn't really probably the drum head I should be using, but we're gonna go ahead and try it and see if it works out okay on this drum. This is just a used drum head. I took off another drum because um, it didn't really matter to me too much what drum head we were using. I just wanted something that would work for this particular drum set. All right, so now I have this on here nice and even. First thing I'm going to do with this snare strainer is we're going to put this side on first. So if you can zoom in there. So in order to do that, we're going to take this snare strainer Put it in here. I'm going to go all the way through this clamp. And the way this person had it before is they actually folded it over to give it some extra stability. And I'm going to clamp it down right there. And my goal is to get this almost centered, but it's going to pull from this direction, so I'm going to offset it just a little bit. So now that we have this where I want it, I'm going to tighten it up. And this side you definitely want pretty tight. And you'll have to go back and forth between these two screws just to make sure it's got an even clamp on both. Alright, so now that I have that in place, I'm going to spin the drum around. We're going to get this other piece of plastic, this deal here. And you can use string or rope for this. Um, I find pretty much all of them over time stretch. So if you look at this right here, when I pull on this, you'll see that now it's about center. So that's kind of what we're going for. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is this is your mechanism that turns the snares off or on. My goal is that when it's on, it's on, and that when it's off, it's actually off. But when it's on, I want it to already sound like snare wire. So what I'm going to do is loosen this as much as I can which is going to drop this down. And I'll explain a little bit further in a second. So I'm going to loosen this all the way.
to almost where it drops off. See, now it's completely loose. Put it back on and thread it just a little bit. All right, so there we go. I'm going to leave this on. I'm going to take this piece and thread it through this clamp. I've got to make sure both pieces of plastic get into there. All right. So now that I have it in there, I'm going to pull this tight with my fingers, clamp this down on either side. And here's what we have. This is not going to be as tight as I want it, but I'm guaranteed to be able to turn it off now because I set it when this was on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start tightening this. So I'm adding extra tension on these wires now. And I'm looking for firmness, but I'm not looking for it to be too tight. That's pretty firm. It's pretty tight. Flip it over. Now I don't have this drum tuned yet, but when I tap on the drum, I can hear the snare wires. That's good. When I turn the, the snares off, hopefully I'm not hearing the snare wires. And I'm not. So I've done exactly what I want. So we're going to take it a little bit further and turn this into a tuning video. So the bottom head is probably where I want it. What I've done with the bottom head is I made it finger tight first, and then I seated the head evenly on the drum shell, and then I just took out the wrinkles. And that's how I'm going to start. I just took out the wrinkles. This top head, I need to do the same thing. I'm going to press on the sides, make sure it's evenly seated on the shell. And this too is just a used head that I just picked out that I think might work for this drum okay. Um, I'm actually going to be using this drum set for presentations at schools, so I'm not looking to do any recording or anything super professional with it, just more education, educational stuff. Alright, so now I have a little bit of firmness in the head, all the wrinkles are out. That drum doesn't sound too bad. So let's start tuning it up and see what it sounds like with the drumstick. Okay, so we're going to start tightening up this top head. For minute tuning changes like I'm doing right now, I'm going about a half a turn around the entire rim. Okay, we're getting closer to something that's a little bit more pleasant to listen to. I'm not terribly familiar with these types of heads. I've used them on tom-toms, but I'm not sure that I've ever used them on a snare drum. So I think for this drum, an ideal head combination is probably not this, but maybe we can salvage this and make it work. So that's not terrible, but like we were discussing in the beginning of this lesson is adjusting those snare wires. Let's make sure we can turn those wires off. And we can. I'm going to fine tune this drum a little bit more later, but this is in general how I go about tuning my snare drums and then the rest is preference after that. How tight you want the head has to do with the, how high you want the sound to be and also how much you want the drum to be able to bounce when you play on it. Uh, bottom head's going to be more for your tone. Um, the tighter the head, the higher your pitch, the lower the the head, the lower your pitch. That's mainly what it's going to do. And then the two heads will talk to each other. This will resonate one frequency or so, and this will resonate another frequency or so. So you want to kind of decide how you want them to interact with each other. And in general, you don't want a snare drum, in my opinion, to be any specific pitch, because when you have it to be a specific pitch, whenever you hear other tones from like the bass guitar or the guitar or even other drums that match the tone of the snare drum, it's going to ring like crazy you'll have their, hear those snares buzzing. So you don't really want that. So if you can keep everything kind of dissonant in the tuning of the snare drum, it'll kind of always sound like that.